Hi guys, it's Elise from In Our Element, and today I'd like to do a video inspired by the two things that I love most in life, well, my husband too, but hiking and dogs. So here are tips for hiking with your dogs. Start with long walks in your neighborhood to build their endurance and determine their capability. For very small dogs, older dogs, or dogs with disabilities, use trails that can accommodate a stroller or use a backpack on uneven or rocky terrain if your dog is small enough and can tolerate it. Tip number two, make sure you follow the rules. Make sure dogs are allowed on the trail that you wish to hike for the day. Keep dogs on a leash no longer than six feet for their safety and the safety of others. Use a body harness for comfort and safety. Attaching a leash directly to their collar can cause physical injury to the dog, especially if it is a small dog or a dog that pulls. Tip number three, know your weather conditions and terrain. Don't underestimate how differences in elevation, humidity, temperature, and sun exposure will affect you and your dog. Please make sure your dog is on flea and heartworm preventative. And there is also now a Lyme disease vaccination available for dogs. They haven't made one for people yet, but they definitely have one for dogs. Tip number four, carry plenty of water for you and your dog. You have many options. And if you're going on a longer hike, bring a water filter with you. We have collapsible bowls that you can use and they just flatten down. They have a little attachment carabiner to it so you can hook it to just about anything, a belt loop, backpack, whatever. Or you can use one of these handy dandy water bottles that doubles as a bowl if you're not worried about the weight. Try not to let your dog drink from stagnant bodies of water, rivers, lakes, or streams, as there are several waterborne diseases your dog could contract, such as leptospirosis, giardia, and cryptosporidiosis. Tip number five, practice L and T, leave no trace. Pack up your poop and take it out with you until you find a proper receptacle to put it in. Dog poop is a common carrier of roundworms, giardia, salmonella, and cryptosporidiosis. Cryptosporidiosa. No, not the Harry Potter spell. Tip number six, watch for signs of heat stroke. If your dog shows signs of heat stroke, the best thing to do is to pour cool water over the dog after you've taken them to a cooler, shadier spot, and then allow your dog to take small sips of cool water, and once the dog has cooled down, get them to the vet immediately. Tip number seven, bring whoa, a locking carabiner with you. This way, if you have to do something hands-free, you can release your dogs or you hook it to your belt loop so you can do more important things while you're on your hike, like checking your social media page and seeing how many likes you got on your last post. Tip number eight, carry one of these tick keys with you. At the end of your hike, check your dog thoroughly for ticks scrapes or abrasions which will take like 10 seconds with diva carry a first aid kit for you and your pet make sure you include an antihistamine such as benadryl after talking to your vet about the proper dosage in case your dog gets stung or bit by an insect and has an allergic reaction during hunting season wear something bright and put something bright on your dog too so you're not mistaken for a target be aware of wildlife because your dog will hear, sense, and smell things way before you do. If while hiking, your dog starts barking, they could be warning you about a potential nearby threat. Make yourself aware of what kinds of wildlife you could encounter and learn how to avoid confrontations. 
please be considerate of other hikers. Make sure your dogs are non-aggressive and well behaved because some people do not appreciate dogs jumping all over them, may be afraid of, or do just do not like dogs. Which I don't understand people who don't like dogs. But. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found the tips helpful. And until next time, see you outside.